Hey up meodes, it is Rowie here, and today we have got the first beer on the channel ever. Well, it's a double whammy. It is the first beer ever from Little Willow Brewing Company, and it is also the first ever beer that I've had from Northampton. Now, uh, I know what a lot of you are thinking, uh, a lot of you thinking, oh, is that Northampton in the UK? Now, I used to live in Northampton in the UK, and to this day, it is the biggest shithole I have ever lived in in my entire life. I lived there for a whole total of nine days, but signed a year lease on a flat. And uh, I just moved out. I hated it that much. I moved out after nine days. And it was kind of like, I would rather be broke in Nottingham than doing all right in Northampton. It is a shithole. If you are watching from Northampton, you know, you're probably agreeing with me because you're probably just like, well, it is, it's absolutely dreadful. Um, and if you're not from Northampton, you're also probably thinking, but also like that is a, a sweet little link because uh, Little Willow Brewing Company are of course, obviously not based in Northampton in the UK. They are from Northampton in, uh, uh, um, uh, well, I can't pronounce it, uh, Massachusetts, Massachusetts. I don't know, it's that, it's MA. It's from uh, Northampton, MA. And uh, we have got here, Sorry, a couple of rum and cokes. We have got here, we have got the Tree Hugger, a double dry hopped, double New England IPA, 8.5%. I know is without even reading that part, it's hopped with Citra and Mosaic, an absolutely great combination. So we can expect, um, you know, a little bit of grapefruit, sort of lime, but plenty of the sort of uh, generic stone fruits, which is a, uh, a good explanation for anything that is a New England IPA. A bit of a text here, here. So, uh, Tree Hugger is a double dry hopped, double New England IPA, crammed with huge amounts of citra and mosaic hops. Look for notes of passion fruit, citrus, and mixed berries. I see the mixed berries thing a lot on any sort of IPA description. I have yet to get that, because as we all know, it's the same as when people say, this coffee tastes of pineapple and blueberries. Talking shit. Obviously, that is not the case whatsoever. There's a little extra down here. Oh, there we go. So obviously, this explains a lot. Little Willow Brewing Company is a hope and a dream made into reality thanks to the unwavering support of my mum, dad, and daughter, Willow. So presumably, uh, Little Willow is gonna be the daughter of the brewer. And presumably that is Little Willow there. And I also assume that is a willow tree, which is a, a double whammy of wi willow as they say in Northampton, a double army of willow. Uh, so I purchased this from Brew Cavern in Nottingham. Um, it was, uh, I think about a tenner, give or take, which I know, I'm, you know, these this day and age, I'm not disputing, a tenner is for one can of beer. But um, I've heard good things. Um, I've heard people say they're potentially gonna be the next sort of tree house. Um, I don't know, that's it, I've got a follow up to that. <laughs> Sort of heard some people say, I've never had any. It could be, yeah, you know. But yeah, so uh, they have got this um, in cans. They actually have a few in from Little Willow at the minute at Brew Cabin, and they have some Treehouse as well. Um, and uh, I know they often have Little Willow on draft at Brew Tavern. So those are some places you can check this out. So uh, yeah, let's get this open. We'll get this in the glass. This has been good so far, has it? It's been informative. Uh, I, there was a good intro. Um, I assume I forgot to press record or something because uh, never, things never normally go this smoothly. Obviously we're at the four minute mark and I've still not even opened the beer yet, which even by my standards is bollocks. But um, yeah, let's get this open. And I'm loving this track glass at the minute. Absolutely loving it. It is filthy as well. So we may as well, uh... oh, look at that. Now that is what old Rowie wants in an IPA, double or otherwise. We want that sort of, the hazy, the orangey, the juicy. Can something look dank? I've probably said that a thousand times, but it looks dank. That was my beer fridge, it's literally there. Full of shit, absolutely full of shit. Full of ketchup, hot sauces. Eight different types of ketchup, all taste the same. Fuck me, they all taste of vinegar. But yeah, that looks absolutely banging. Let's have a little wifty woo. Ooh. 
That smells great. There's mango, there's lychee, there's passion fruit. Is that what it says on the side of the can? It's berries, you know. I, can't, I don't know why I wear these glasses. I can't read anything with them on. Adds nothing. It's because when I used to try to be more informative, I'd have like notes there. So I used to wear the glasses so you wouldn't see them. But now I've kind of given up on that because uh, those videos got even less views than this one will. Passion fruit, citrus, mixed berries. Well, I'm gonna stand by, it doesn't smell like berries at all. But there's lychee, tons, absolutely tons of lychee. A little bit of passion fruit, mango. It smells brilliant, but that's enough of that. Let's get it bloody slow, shall we? Over a little. That is outstanding. That is absolutely brilliant. That is. I can see why people have compared these guys to Treehouse. Um, now, I don't want to get involved and bogged down in the whole is beer too expensive shit because. Uh, if you're willing to pay for it, then it's worth it. If you're not willing to pay for it, then it isn't. But um, I've, like I said, this cost me about a tenner. I've paid 17 quid for things from Treehouse, Fidens, etc. And um, that haven't been as good as this, but that is, for a tenner, that is absolutely outstanding. There are, there are beers in this country, brewed in this country, Maybe not do well, no, probably including double IPAs that are around that mark that don't taste as good as this. The lychee's back, the mango's there. Fuck all berries, talking shit. Um, it's weird, like it's all the fruits that I hate, but when it's in a beer, I seem to love them. Probably because it's like fruits gross. You know, I'm a vegetable kind of guy, as you can probably tell. I'm literally wearing a fried chicken t-shirt and trying to talk about how I'm healthy. Yeah, so uh, talking shit. Oh. It's thick, it's juicy, it's pulpy. The can art is great, <laughs> you know. That is an absolutely outstanding double IPA. That is... Ah, oh, well, there we go. We now have another um, brewery to just buy on site. Blech. Buy on site, not like, that's not the person who's married to Jay-Z. Oh, yeah. That was rubbish, that was such a rubbish dad joke. But yeah, we have got another brewery now that has a, uh, a buy on site. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, that is absolutely outstanding. That is phenomenal. Yeah, that is incredible. I'm, I'm almost lost for words as to how good this is. Not a hint of ABV, but yeah, that is absolutely, absolutely magic. As it's warmed up a little bit, there's definitely a little bit of uh, grapefruit bitterness right on the back end that I'm only just getting now. But that's great. I don't know, if I used things like untapped, I would probably, uh, you know, could look back on things and do like a recap of the year. But if I was to do it, that would... It's definitely one of the best beers I've had this year. Absolutely one of the best beers I've had this year. Um, of all the sort of like beers I've had from just a new brewery, this has been the most, to myself obviously, this has been the most outstanding one. That is ridiculous. That is beyond good. I kind of want to do like a sim of sups and throw it, like just really throw it over the back of me. But I'm not going to do that because, uh, well, for a bunch of reasons, because that's his thing and Roy doesn't steal other people's things. Roy ain't a hack. I mean, I have stolen a lot of like what I do off Stuart Lee, to be fair, but really badly, really pathetically. And, uh, 
it might hit me a picture of me mam and I don't want to do that but um, yeah uh, thank you very much indeed for watching as always this one's had some good energy I've, had, I've enjoyed this video I, I mean I always enjoy doing these videos I've phenomenally enjoyed doing this one the fact that this, uh, that has been outstanding has definitely been a bonus you're going to be seeing more of uh, Little Willow on the channel that's uh, 100% that, that's going to happen you've got that for free you've got that for free anyway so yeah as always thank you very much indeed for watching it's been absolutely a joy to do this video to be perfectly honest with you and uh, yeah like if you like the video give us a like and subscribe and uh, yeah, I'll see you in a bit, won't I? So yeah, I'll, I don't know if I'll be able have time to do another video this week. I've got a very busy week at work and you've got that beerless point showing you. You've got that beerless video that I've done where I visited some places where the Princess Bride was filmed. But uh, so far only about 10 of you have watched that, but uh, that doesn't matter, it's all good, isn't it? I do this for a bit of fun, don't I? So yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves and uh, I'll see you in a bit, won't I? So uh, yeah, Little Willow, keep an eye out for them. Go on brewcaven.com, buy some of them. Honestly, obviously, honestly, that cunt Matt from Brewcoven doesn't give me a penny for... I don't know why I said that. I really like him. Just slagged him off a bit there. Cunt, though. But, yeah. But, yeah, was that my first but, yeah, the video as well? Oh, that's terrible. But thank you very much indeed for watching. I'll see you in a bit. Take care of yourselves in a bit. Yeah, bye.